G'day guys, welcome back to the swiping experiment. Yes, let's do this. Now, what is going to give us the better swipe? A paper towel, very thin and lightweight. A sheet of plastic, a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier. Or a sheet of card. It's about 1.5 mil thick. So I'm not going to do a wet paper towel because these are both dry. So we're going to do the same experiment with all dry, 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 thin, thicker, thickest. All right. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to swipe each section. So that's today. Very interesting. I personally have never used paper towel for swiping. I always use my bit of plastic. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. So flow troll for the pouring medium today and I am mixing that 2.5 parts of flow troll to one part of my global impasto paints. I'm not going to show you all the colours because it really doesn't matter for this experiment. I've just got greens and blues, light green up to dark blue um, and black and white. So coconut milk hair serum for the cells and I'm going to put, I'm not going to use put any in the black because that's my swipe colour, but I'm going to put four drops in each of the colours. One, two, three, four. I do like the coconut milk hair serum for the swipes, but I prefer the treadmill silicone oil for my flip cups. Don't know why. It's get a better result. I get really small cells with, well that was about two or three I think, so I get small cells in my swipes with the treadmill silicone and swiping it's not really something that I want to tilt and stretch out of shape so once I've got the round cells I want to keep them so I don't want to tilt them. So let's stir this in a bit. I want to mix this in well because the coconut milk hair serum is quite thick and I want lots of little cells that I can then heat up with the heat gun to bring to the surface. I don't want a mass of cells everywhere, I want some background with some pretty round um, nice shaped cells popping up through the black so that's that's the plan. So I'm going to move the black out of the way first and I'm just I'm going to pour one two, three, I'm going to swipe one, two, three down. So I'm going to just going to layer my colours horizontally. Doesn't really matter how you do it. Leaving a little bit of space at the top for the black. And I've got three blues and two greens. I don't want to use too much of the greens. Rather it be a little bit more of a blue pour with a touch of green. And obviously I want more of the light green and the light blue because I'm swiping black over it. So the lighter colours will pop through the black more. So I'm just going very thin little amount with the green there and then I've got my navy so I want a little bit of navy because by the time you've swiped the black down here by the time you get here there's hardly any of the dark color to go over the rest of it so I might actually put a little bit more black in down there because it's always dark there then it gets lighter and lighter and lighter and by the time you get down here there's no black left it's just the other colors on top of each other so I'm going to put some darker colors through here just to see if that will help and then I don't want a lot of white, just a little bit of a, a drizzle of the white. I don't want too much because it blends down over the rest of the colours and lightens these ones down here. So I don't want that to happen. Okay, so I probably used half of my paints. I can add a little bit more if I need to, but I want to start tilting now because I want to... This is way too much paint on here. It's too thick. You can see how fast it's moving. So I need to cover the whole canvas, get the paint over the edges. Oh, there's a fly in here. Go 
away, fly. I put one of those magnetic fly screen things over my door to stop them coming in, but sneaking in somewhere, little pests. It's almost over. I don't want to tip it too much. I don't want to lose all the paint, but I do want to lose most of it. Can't have too much left on the canvas. Otherwise, my cells that are there, after I've um, swiped, will just get all misshapen because there's too much paint. So it's flowing a little bit better now. It's slowing up. Just go over the edge there. I think that's all my edges done now. Turn it around. And then have a look and see if there's anywhere that I need to add a little bit of extra colour, maybe. If I've got any little gaps anywhere. So I'm going to put a little bit more of this pale green here because I like the way the black against the pale green really pops. Stretch that green out a little bit. No, it doesn't want to move. This up here is moving though so I need to push that off. I need to make a little space there for my black. So if you have tipped a little bit much, that's okay. Just wipe some paint off. Push it over the edge. Getting cells already. That's because the paint's rubbing on the other paint. As I've been tilting, the paint's been rubbing against the other paint, causing the cells to come up. Okay, I think that's done. It's all covered. Got my gap at the top for the black. The black I've mixed to the same ratio, 2.5 of pouring medium to one paint. So in each cup I had 80 grams of pouring medium and 30 grams of paint. Leaves a little mound. Might thin the black out. Just, just a touch. Black always tends to go very thick, doesn't it? Not too much though. I don't want to add too much because I want the black to be able to drag over. If your swipe colour is too thin, uh, the when the cells pop up, they go and hold their shape because the paint's too thin and they kind of expand and, and lose their shape. So, on the other hand, if the paint is too thick, the cells can't come up through the bottom layers. So that's something else to look out for. All right, let's pour some black on here. I've poured a good amount on so that it goes over the edge. Hopefully, pours over the sides. I can touch those up afterwards. So I'll make sure I've got enough paint on the very corner there for my swipe. And we'll just tip a bit that way. Tip a bit this way. All right, let's do this. Get this experiment underway. Move my paints out of the way. Put a little bit more navy just there. I think. green just there. I haven't got much green there, have I? There we go. I do like that pretty lime green. Right, uh, now, the other thing I wanted to do was put a little bit of a, a black stripe between the, the colours. Just so that you can see uh, where is it going to be? So you can see where one colour starts and the other colour stops. 
whether or not that's a good idea, I don't know. Okay, so let's do the paper towel first. I'm just going to pop it on there. And I'm going to put this edge of the paper towel into the black there. So it's not overlapping. Press it down so that it's sitting on the black. Okay, number one, let's go. Swiping black with the paper towel. There we go. I lost a little bit of contact. So I've got a few little worms because sometimes with the weight, if you haven't pressed down enough, it kind of lifts and you get little air pockets underneath. But that's okay, the cells are pretty. Now the next one, so I'll overlap the black a little bit and pour some black across here. Just a little bit so I know where my plastic is going, a little guide. So again, just touching the black. It straight away grabs easier. I don't have to push it down. Slowly pull that black, that um, plastic down over the paint. Don't go too fast and lose contact. Just keep going. Once you've started, don't stop. Otherwise, the plastic will dip down. Okay, so that's the plastic. Pretty cells as well. That's bugging me, I have to fix that. Bear with me while I fix that. I'm just gonna cover it a little bit. I know, OCD. It was bugging me. Let's push it down a little bit there, that's better. Won't cover all of it, but it's better. So where the black stripe is, you can see where the one uh, swipe tool starts and the other swipe tool finishes. I haven't gone very straight here, have I? Let's add a little bit more black up here. And then we'll go again with the card. It's the same card that I use when I'm doing my little experiments on card. Mm. Alright, so it's quite thick. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way because it's in my way. There we go. So, so far, so good. Now the last one. I might have to put a bit of black here actually. I don't think I've left quite enough room. I probably overlapped a little bit on all of them. Actually, this is not a bad idea, putting some black on the edge. You know how you always, your edges you always miss? Isn't this a good idea? I think I've just learnt something. What do you reckon? Yeah, I like this idea. Because when you swipe, you always miss the edge. Well, I do, like that. I've got a bit of black there, then it won't matter too much. Okay. Oh, look, I'm not going to, I haven't got enough room. I haven't left enough room for myself here. There we go. All right, we'll just do it. I can touch up that later on. It's just not quite wide enough. So this is gonna, this is quite heavy. I'm just going to hold it. I'm not going to put any pressure down on it. I'm just going to hold it and drag it. Oh, I'm missing the middle. Didn't want that to happen. And down. That's okay. I need to fix that. That's bugging me. Uh, what can I use? What can I use? My little card. I had a lot of paint there in the middle when I put that extra black and the card kind of pushed it out of the way. Let's just go over with my little card here, eh? Just to fix that middle bit up. 
We want it to look pretty, don't we? Okay, that's done. Let's fix this up. So can we see any difference yet? in the three swiping tools. Don't know that I'm making that any better. Just fix that bit up there. All right, so what do we think? Hmm. This one needs a little bit more time. Obviously it's just been done. So wait for the cells to pop up. Um, I think the paper towel is probably my least favourite. It's lost some contact, wasn't quite heavy enough, and because it hasn't kept contact and pushed the layers of paint over each other, uh, we haven't got such cell definition. Um, there's, those are very green, whereas over here, where the, the, the darker, well not the darker, the heavier sheets have gone down, it's pushed the paint more into the other paint and then the oils come up from the bottom bringing up the different layers of colours of paint. So I'm thinking the dark, the heavier ones are better. This has just kind of pulled the one layer over the top and not mixed the paints as much and then we've lost contact there as well with the paper towel. I'll put this back now so that we can see and remember what was where. So that was the paper towel. That was the plastic. And then that was the card. So, um, I don't know, like it's, it's very close, isn't it? I think if you didn't know that there were three different ones, three different um, swiping tools, maybe you wouldn't even notice. This one seems to be a little bit more muddied over here. Maybe it's just been too heavy and as it's pulled across it's muddied the paint a little bit, maybe, or it could just be because I had more green in that section. I don't know. So this one I think is too light. The colours haven't um, blended as much because it's only pulled a very light layer of paint over. This one I think is a bit too heavy and it did make my paint dip there in the middle, um, like pushed it up like that because it was quite heavy and it's more muddied. So I think this one is my favourite, my sheet of plastic that I, I always use. So yay me, <laughs> I didn't even know, so I prefer that. Um, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed that little experiment. I won't keep this canvas. I'll, I'll scrape it and I'll use it uh, on another pour because um, it's just an experiment. You know, I don't want to keep it and hang it up anywhere. I'm not that in love with it. So I hope that's helped. I might just torch a little bit just to see if anything else is under there. A little bit up here through there, a little bit up here, and a little bit up here, just where it's just plain black, not too much, you don't want to heat your paint and burn it and melt it, so we've got a few more coming up here, a few little ones coming up here, so they'll continue to grow over the next half an hour, we'll get more cells, they'll get bigger. But the actual cell shapes are quite nice. I like them. They're multicolored. I'll take you in for a close up so that you can see them. Let's get my mess out of the way. I'm glad I tried those. It was a fun experiment. And looking at the cells, I think the cells over here maybe aren't as nicely shaped. As those two there. See what's happened to the cells when I've when I've heated them? They've gone a bit wonky on the outside. This is why I tried I 
try not to touch but I just wanted to see if there was anything in there see how they've kind of gone wonky blurry around the edges that's because it's been overheated whereas these ones in down here are perfectly shaped these ones down here pretty much so there's a few little wonky ones but I don't know it's probably just because there was not enough pressure uh, pulling that paint down so anyway have a go at yourself see what you think Let's take you in for a close-up. It's a bit messy under there, isn't it, under my canvas? All right. So you can see on the right-hand side there's a lot more green. The green's kind of just skimmed over the top and the blue from underneath hasn't come through because there's not enough pressure pushing down on the paint stuck to mix them. So I think that's why. But um, yeah, great. I'm happy I did that. I will stick with my plastic sheets. It's just a document holder that I've got from the office supply store and I've cut it up. It did have a back and a front on it and I've just cut it up. So. Hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to my video channel on YouTube and uh, you'll catch all my experiments. I did one recently on which uh, silicone oil was better, silicone versus dimethicone, so check that one out as well. Be interested to see those results. So, all right, that'll be it for me. I've babbled on for over 20 minutes and um, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.